Hi there, these are reviews from mom.org. And as always, this is Jay. Today, I will tell you about three absolutely unique and remarkable games. And no, we're not talking about your usual dog turd covered with powdered sugar or topped with a cherry. No, these are three really simple and interesting games, which I thoroughly enjoy. One is called Mimpy, the second, Dokuro, and the third, Boson X. I'll start off with the magnificent platformer Dokuro, which is about an evil monster who has kidnapped a great princess and about a skeleton servant who disobeyed his master and tried to release the great princess. Yep, you guessed it, that's who you play. The task is to help the princess to overcome various obstacles. Here we'll be helped by our brain, of course, magic chalk, which you use to draw necessary details, and a beauty elixir, which for a short time turns our skeleton into a handsome prince, able to do battle with the sword and to make time with the ladies. Oh yeah. Hey princess, did you check out my bone? <laughs> During the course of the game, you have to travel around a huge castle stuffed with the most difficult riddles, opponents, and bosses. And the main thing in Dokuro is its fantastic atmosphere and cool style choices. I dug it. But if somehow its unique stylization looks too boring for you, next we have an even more stylish project under the name of Mimpy. Also a tremendous platformer, but a colorful style reminiscent of an illustrated children's book, but with tasks that are even more adult than in Dokuro. Glory to Odin, there are helps in the game. We play Mimpy, a cute, curious little doggy that decided to leave his house and owner and went off to investigate the new world. This world, however, is quite frightening and strange. For example, it starts off moving around clouds and islands by power of thought alone and finishes off with basketball against a foot with the head of an elephant. Okay. In general, Mimpy is a look at our mad world through the eyes of a dog. Now, here's a game you definitely don't want to play under the influence of any regulated or unregulated substance. So instead of that, you can play Boson X, which we will call a runner not from this world. No points, no donation, no crystals, no coins, and no characters, no locations and purposes. You just run. What for? Why? Nothing is clear. In the settings where you choose your character, you at least learn that you're either a doctor or a scientist, and you're participating in some sort of experiment. Are you supposed to be a subatomic particle here or what? They really needed to do a better job of explaining the game setting, at least. Without knowing the background, we are just a running person in an abstract world. When running on turquoise lines, we fill a scale. Who knows what the hell this scale is for? Once you fill it up to 100%, we are accelerated. We unlock a new research option. Games like this attract with simple stylization and hardcore gameplay. With this game, the combination doesn't disturb one another. On the contrary, it hurls you into this bizarre experiment that doesn't let you stop. Each run is, in some extent, a test of your reaction time, your abilities, and your nerves. These games are recommended to everyone who has hands in a brain. Dude, I have functioning hands! Hooray for me! Well, that's all for today. If you like this, download the games, put like on everything that deserves it, follow our channel, and join the group. There are still many interesting things to find there. This was Jay, with the reviews from Mob.org. See you!